to another colorful keto with Dory. So today we're doing something really, really cool today. So today we are going to meet the admin and the other half to my colorful keto buddy Dory. So you guys know me, you know lots about me, but I want you to meet Kat and we're going to talk about how we met and how we make our group amazing together. So I'm going to invite Kat in and we are going to have our chat. Add Miss Cat. I'm gonna turn our tunes back on while we're adding. Cause why not? So I'm going to say, let's start this way. First, I want you to introduce yourself to everybody, and I want you to tell them where you were when we met. Okay. <laughs> On the pressure. Hi, if you haven't seen me before, I am your Keto Crazy Cat Lady, um, and I'll give you a little bit of background about me. Um, I originally started Keto five-ish or so years ago. Um, and it was a much stricter version and, uh, about two, it's almost a, three years now. Um, I had a bad car wreck and I had been doing so well with my keto, but I fell back into that delivery food trap. Um, I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't do what I needed to do. Uh, and so before you know it, 40 pounds that I had lost creep right back on, like nothing. In. and this past summer I just kind of woke up one day and I said this is it enough is enough I am not going to continue to hurt myself I need to love myself again and do what it takes and so I did I started back slowly because this keto has a lot more things that are um, a lot more fats and, and things like that that I didn't have before so it took me a little adjustment period um, but I finally got with it and I have lost that 40 pounds, plus a few more. Um, but where this all began is uh, when I was starting back slowly last summer. And I was looking for really good groups out there to join, to get that support, to get the information. Because I was used to the restrictive and not the other. So I needed more information on that. Mm -hmm. And eventually, I joined this group. And group. I we'll just call it group. To it. <laughs> group. <laughs> I started posting to it on the regular, sharing recipes, um, things like that. And eventually, they asked me to be a moderator, and I was like, "Oh wow, well, I must be doing something really cool here, right?" Because they want me in charge of the group. Okay. <laughs> and so I was, and. It started off pretty good. I was having a good time. I was meeting new people, uh, sharing recipes again. My big thing is when I see a recipe, I want to know that somebody's already made that yes. and that it's good. So I kind of took that on myself. I posed the question to the other uh, admin moderators, and they didn't see to be too keen about that. So I just took it on myself because I know, well, yeah. again, when I'm looking for something, I know, I want to know that somebody's already made it. Well, anyone and can Google, right? They want to know that you made it, that it was good. Exactly, exactly. So I started making all these recipes and I, you know, started expanding my horizon, so to speak, and uh, trying things that I hadn't before and um, having a lot of fun with it. But I didn't really feel part of the group. It was a very weird dynamic. Um, I would go in the group chat with them, and they would have a subject they were talking about, and uh, I would make a comment or, you know, ask a question, and half the time it was just like dead air. And it was just, it started feeling kind of weird. And then I will admit, um, because... I think we all 
come from places where we have esteem issues. I wanted to fit in and I wanted to be one of the cool kids. And so I saw that they were like poking fun at some of the people that were posting. And I horribly went along with that. Again, I wanted to feel part of the group. I wanted to belong. Um, and then... Dory. <laughs> I'll, I'll do enter enter Dory because Dory like a blue storm of wave of fury always hits that way. I, I don't know subtle like it, it's never been a thing for me and for me I I was in those in that same group. I had been in that group for three months and in my other group that I that I loved I had lots of questions and people were like Dory can you make that? Can you show me how to make that? So I made my first couple videos but they were they were very specifically geared like they were honestly they were made for the group that I made them for and I wasn't teaching them a recipe but I was teaching them how to be creative so I took just a one minute muffin and six flavor requests and I was like let's make it but I <laughs> the title just said you know one minute muffin it's a 45 minute video so I I'm excited I've made this I'm proud of myself I've made like two whole videos dude I'm like I'm so good and I, I post them in the group and there they have to have moderator approval. So in Doryland, I'm thinking, oh, if they don't want it, they just won't approve it. Like I can post it. It's not a big deal. If they don't like it, then they just, they won't post it. So I posted my first couple videos. I was totally proud of myself and I'm thinking, oh, oh my God, they let it go in. They like it. They like it. They like it. And then um, what I realized after I chatted with Kat was that they actually didn't really like, they didn't really like it. So I'll let you come back in, Kat, and say, you know, kind of behind the scenes, because I had no idea. Like, I thought I was pretty awesome. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And so what was happening behind the scenes in our little chat group <sighs> is uh, the other, not all, some were... Um, making fun of Dory and they called her the unicorn sparkle pulp lady and since I watched her videos that they thought were far too long I, would, I volunteered to watch her hideous videos okay and I in, you know in reality I was going along with the flow and I was making some comments that I'm not proud of and they kept pushing me to maybe confront her about it and talk to her about it. And so I tried to do it in the best way possible, but it didn't end up that way. Oh, <laughs> so well, and, and it was, I'm going to say this, guys, because we, I'm going to take equal responsibility here. This was not just Kat being mean to me. I was mean to her, too. Like, it was my first brush with negativity. Like, so far, I had only shared my things with people who loved and supported me. And it really, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't even that, that mean of a comment. But the comment was something along the lines of, you know, that's that's kind of really, really long. Have you ever seen a recipe video before like for 45 minutes you can make a whole meal and I was like but you just don't understand it wasn't a recipe and I was like I was right on that and I messaged her right away like I private messaged her and I was not nice I was like oh so you run a support group but you're mean to people like that's, that's not very supportive of you and I wasn't very nice either like my feelings were hurt and I I was right on that I was like you know what if if you run a support group and you want to support people, maybe you should pretend you know what that looks like. like and, and I was mean too. Like, guys, we both cried ourselves to sleep that night. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't just me. Like, it, we were like right mean to each other. But neither of us have that in us. Like, neither of us are those kind of people who would be offended. And, you know, like we've seen mean comments in groups. Neither of us would be that kind of person. We don't even allow it in our group. But it was the egging on, right? Like, and, and I kind of want to go into that just a little bit. Because on my side of it, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know they were making fun of me. I thought it was all good. I saw a mean comment and I did what I would do. I messaged you and said, that's not very nice. And then I messaged the head admin and I said, you know, like, is this actually how your moderators talk to people? Because, you know, maybe you should consider being, being nice. And what I got from her was, 
oh, her. You know, I've had issues with her before. You know, I think I'll, I'll have a chat with her about that because really that's not very nice. And I was like, okay, well, problem solved. I've, I've made a new friend. I'm, you know, this group likes me. I'm explaining to her, you know, I'm not really doing recipes. I'm kind of trying to teach creativity and we're chatting and she's like, oh yeah, Dory, that's great. <gasps> that's a great idea. I have so many questions in my group. If you could make videos for my group, I would love that. We have lots of requests. So in the morning I woke up thinking, oh, you know, that girl was just a mean girl, but it's okay. I found friends. I, you know, I can share in this group. And then in the morning, I got a message from Kat. And I want you to tell them how your night ended with that group. Because that's okay. kind of... Yeah, basically, so how my night ended, uh, I mean, everything just pretty much imploded. Um, the conversation went so wrong with Dory, and then, again, behind the scenes, the same person that was telling Dory how yeah. and they wanted her videos was actually the main that was batched or behind her back, <laughs> and we kind of went back and forth a little bit with that, and, and I think, you know, we were both pretty shocked, like, oh my god, like, we totally got played. <laughs> And I do take responsibility for my actions. I chose to make those decisions to do the things that I did. But it was a mess. It was ugly. It wasn't nice. And it just kind of showed me what is out there on these groups that, yes. that are supposed to be helping the scenes, what was actually happening and how little they actually cared about helping people it was more of everything ooh, ooh, ooh. it hurt i got kicked out blocked <laughs> and you know I, I took the time to listen to her ideas and i was like holy crap i just didn't get it and when, when she explained it to me i was like yeah yeah <laughs> that's really awesome and then they to be and now teaming up to to do this, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but <laughs> my God, it's been amazing! What a journey! It, how blessed am it, I? How blessed are you? How yes. blessed are all of us? <laughs> yes. Honestly. Yes, because when I woke up in the morning, the message I got was from the administrator and it was, oh, you know what, it's all good, she's out of our groups, it shouldn't be a problem, we love you here, you know, if she gives you any issues, you can use the Facebook block function. And I did, and I blocked her, because I was like, girl, I'm not dumb. Like, I've played high school games before, I've been played before, I didn't think it could happen to me in my 40s, like, hand to the sky. Like, I really didn't think that, you know, my very first exploration into keto groups would be like high school style. I was shocked, like, I, I was shocked. And in the morning when we talked and we started hashing it out and, and honestly, what touched me, Kat, was that, that you wanted to share. Like you had that inside of you, that spark was there, that need to share. And when we talked about it and I was like, you don't need them. You don't. You were like, but that's my place. Like that's, that's where I share. That's what I've got to give. And it hit me in that moment. And I was like, you don't need them. Very personal. Share with me. Like share share with me. Come with me. Share share what I'm sharing. Build what I'm building. And at that point there was fifty members in my group. Like fifty. <laughs> there was nothing, right? Like and really I had kind of built it by accident. I didn't build it to be big. I didn't build it to be a support group. I built it when I saw a post for a buddy and one lady contacted me and needed help. And I thought, you know what? If I start a little group, I can help six, maybe twelve. Like maybe 12 ladies, I, I can do that. You know, I could give them the one-on-one -on -one time that they need and we can do it. It can be fun. It can be easy. 
and we can do that. And then I, I didn't really know what to do with that. Like, you know, people would approach me and I added a couple of people, but I didn't have any plan. Like, I didn't know how I was going to put it together, how I was going to bring the information, how I was going to support them. I just knew I wanted to help them and I wanted to be their friend. And that's why it was my colorful keto buddy Dory, because I wanted them to know, like, I'm your buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm colorful. I'm here. And that was it. Like, that was that was all. And when we came together, it began to grow because the knowledge that you have is totally different than mine. Like you did old school keto research when you had to get books from the library, like pre online, pre Google, dude, pre Google, like high hand respect for that. Like I had Google, Google was my best friend. Girl, you had books, like you had books on top of books and that was your only choice. It was, you know, check out this map. I had to actually do math. Right. <laughs> And the conversions, right? Because the old recipes never came in cups or teaspoons or, you know, you had to convert everything. So, like, the high. The recipes that I started following were actually on a UK group called the Charlie Foundation. Um, Charlie is a child who uh, has epilepsy and the ketogenic diet has been found to help children with epilepsy. Yes. So their parents started this foundation and made this website and um, were posting recipes and everything was in grams. And I'm in the United States, you know, we do cups and tablespoons. So I went on about a scale so I could convert everything, this and that. Yeah, it was, it was something, um, but it's been a great learning experience for sure. Well, yeah, and, like, you don't get that any other way. Like, you can you can learn things in a million different ways, but hands-on, doing it by yourself, doing the research, digging through it, that's that's how we learn. And, honestly, that's, that's what we now have a vehicle to share because we had to do that. And even for myself, I didn't know keto was a thing. You know, I researched for months and months. And then you find a group. And you don't know if it's a good group, if it's a bad group, if the information is good. You know, you kind of poke around. You hope to make friends, you know, and and you go from there and you learn. So for us, for our group, that's the focus. You know, we're all learning together. We're all laughing together. There, there are no stupid questions. Like, I want you to go on that because, man... I don't care if I've heard it a thousand times, a million times, if you're asking me the 30 millionth time I've heard it. It's not a stupid question. Like, we, we need to get past that. So let's talk a little bit about that. Like, what are some of the things that people have mentioned to you that they're like, oh, Kat, I don't really want to ask because that's it's kind of a stupid question. Uh, I mean, just anything. I, I mean, it comes from the simplest thing. Well, you know, hey, um, is this keto? What am I looking for? Um, you know, people post pictures a lot of times and say, hey, is this part of keto? Well, we need to see the whole package. We yes. The the label, we need to see the ingredients. Um, there are a lot of products out there that they say are keto but are really low carb, and there's a big difference there, and a lot of people don't get that. Um, so that's the most common thing. You know, they just they they're – concerned they don't know what to do they're lost and they're picking stuff up in the store saying can i have this because all they're focused on is i can't have anything anymore yeah. so they're desperately trying to find something that they can't have yes and what we want to do is show you you absolutely can have whatever you want it might be a little different but you absolutely can't have it and i think that's our biggest mission between the two of us is to find those ways so people can enjoy this way of eating and not feel so deprived. Yeah. Well, because both we share the, the passion of food. Like, food foremost, the passion of food. Like, dude, I love food in a crazy way. Now I love healthy food, right? Like, I used to love food that made me sick. I used to love food that made me fat. I used to love food that made me hate myself. I used to love food that made me depressed and anxiety-ridden. And now... We get to show people how to love food that literally loves them back. Hashtag bacon loves me back. <laughs> Hashtag bacon, say it again, Dory Bacon. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's, you know, I understand that people are, again, what I said at the beginning, I think 
speak, some of us have all had issues with self-esteem. That's um, where a lot of us got to where we are that made us say, hey, we need to take a look at our lifestyle and make some changes here. Um, And so I think people are afraid to be judged. And that's what we are totally throwing out of this group. There is no judgment. (laughs) Nothing is stupid. Everything is a perfect question. And like Dory said, I don't care if you ask it, if it's been asked 30, 40, 50 times, we're still going to answer it. You know, the other group that I was in, it was, oh, go to the search. Yeah. Just search it out. You'll find it. There was no real, there wasn't real anything. There yes. was no interaction. You had oh. to post a specific way, and if you didn't post that specific way. You were in trouble. I, I did get I mean, a couple of hand slaps. Is, people weren't allowed to be human, and that's ridiculous because you can't just have, boom, here it is, and, you know, Everybody going with their blinders on, and, yeah. and look, let just go, and that's fine. It's just no, yeah, just no. Well, and no, there's we a... have to work together and support each other and love each other. Yes. And there's a few things that we allow in our group that aren't allowed in other groups. And I, I'm going to put that out there. Like, in our group, if you want to post a picture of what you feed your whole family, including what your family eats that you don't, that's okay too. It's okay to post a picture of your family meal and say, hey, this is the rice that they had that we didn't eat. Because you know what? We need we need that too. So many of us are not the only keto in in the house, right? Like my house, I'm not the only one. And any other group I was in, I could post my plate, my portion, but I couldn't mention ever that my family didn't eat that way or that they ate something else. And I saw people get skewered for that. Like, oh, that, that one's my husband's plate. I didn't eat that. And they still were like, but it's not keto. You can't post that. But people need that solution too. Like, that's my biggest question is, Dory, how do I, I eat this way and feed my family? Because I can't stop feeding my family, right. but everything I see on every keto page is only keto. So what's your option for my family? Like, if I'm having this, what am I feeding them? You know, if they're having mashed potatoes, what am I having instead? And that's a huge one. So we get to talk yes. about that in our group. And if you want something, guess what else? You can post a non-keto picture of food and say, hey, Kat, hey, Dory, can you keto this for me? And you don't get skewered for posting a picture of actual real chocolate cake. We, we hop on. And, and we explain to you how you can make a keto version of that. Because lots of times you don't know how to ask for the right food, right? How do you even ask? How do you begin? Right. And I, I'm going to call out Miss Molly because I love her. And Miss Molly messaged me and, and I was like, okay, girl, it's all good. What do you want? What's your food? What's your game? I'm in. Let's, let's make it, baby girl. And she's like, but I don't want to ask, Dory. Everything I like is bad. And I'm like, no, 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 it's all good. Tell me what you want. She's like, no, no, I don't even want to ask you for what I want because you're going to tell me all the stuff I want is bad and I shouldn't even want it. (laughs) I I shouldn't even want it. And it took me like probably 15 minutes to even like squeeze out of her what meal she wanted. She wanted meatloaf, easy peasy, swap the crackers for pork rinds. She wanted gravy and potatoes, super easy, collie mash, and her gravy is a tomato-based gravy, totally allowed. Swap out the thickener. How easy was that? And she didn't even want to ask. Like, she's been in other groups where you get trouble, you get skewered, oh right? God. So I want you to tell a couple of those stories because some of them are, are pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, th- no, there definitely are. I mean, people ask these questions and, oh, God, the responses are just so mean and, it's like... <laughs> Dude, really? Really? You want to know if you can have that? Really? I mean, why would you talk to, to somebody like that that doesn't know people are trying to learn? Beginner's group. People yeah. are shunned and looked down on because they ask a question. Well, it's a beginner's group. Duh. You cannot get some questions. It's just crazy. Um, there's one group that Dory and I both are very well well aware of where the person who runs it thinks that he is the only keto person in the world that he's the only one that has all the knowledge and he even (gasps) 
patients wrong. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> and literally, love if it. you do not agree with, boom, you're out. Well, and well, they'll send you a little nasty message and stay in hush and then block you so, you know, you don't have the opportunity to respond. Yeah. <laughs> but well, and it's just crazy. I don't even understand why people are so mean to each other. Yeah. You know, it's just not right. We're all in this together. The ketogenic diet works for so many different things in so many different ways. And they are there are several different versions out there because people have different illnesses, allergies, et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> there is no one way. And yeah. I cannot stand those groups that I get in that say, no, this is the way. And yeah, no. no. There's a million different ways. <laughs> Well, and, and, and we in, have to adjust it for our individual needs. Yes. And in my defense, I will say when I when I came across said group, I just I thought opportunity because you know what, when it's when it's in the main groups, it's and I'm gonna call them the keto police, the keto Nazis, the keto strict, it's yeah. their people and our people who are arguing with each other. Like in any group you go to, if there's an argument, if there's a fight, it's it's their people and our people. It's one person saying, No, 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 your way is wrong, and it's the other person saying saying my way is not your way dude like my way isn't your way maybe it's your way but it's not my way and that's always what it is in the groups when I come across and I see so when I came across somebody who had a group like that I thought what an amazing opportunity if I can sit down with this person and we can come to a common ground and say you know what your way is good my way is good and we could sit down with people live and show that you know what we can agree. We can agree to disagree. And I went off of that and I thought, oh, this is such a great opportunity. And it blew up in my face. Like I said something that was inappropriate. Then I'm the devil. And and really it came down to uh, my food coloring and my food flavoring. Um, I was sent a video about how that is killing people and how I am killing people with creativity. And I am like the anti-keto and everything that he does is exactly perfect. And it does no harm and my way is exactly the opposite and he just can't stand behind that oh my god <laughs> right? like I just I, I, I loved it to a degree that I couldn't even like understand but now we have Bryce like we have Bryce of bro Bryce and and I would akin Bryce to that because you know what Bryce's Bryce's motivation is food as medicine Food is medicine. Yes. So when it comes to the strict of the strict, Bryce is it. Like, he is clean keto. He is, you know, anti-inflammatory. If it's got something bad in it. But you know what? Bryce, Bryce, you can talk to. Like, you could talk to him and he'll say to me, well, you know what, Dory? I didn't even know that there was bad stuff in food coloring. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but with Bryce, I can chat about it and he's like, okay, you know, maybe this isn't great. What other options can we consider? And then I look at That's natural true. food coloring, right? But it's That's open. The thing. It's discussion. Options, <laughs> not just that straight up. No, you can't have that. Die, you demon. No. <laughs> Get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> oh. Well, and for me, the other groups were always no. Like, that's that's honestly why I, I started our little group, because everything was no. Like, every question I asked, every everything I saw in the feeds was all no. Like, there was never suggestions. There was never, hey, you know what, maybe you might try this instead of that. It was always just duh I like have you researched do you know anything about keto you know what you're in a keto's beginners group maybe you should go do some research and come back here when you actually know something because we don't have time to listen to your stupid questions and I will say this when when I spoke with admin of said group because we had a great conversation like we did we talked for hours like I thought we totally bonded dude sisters um but in that, we were talking about some of the issues of a bigger group, right? Because I, I was all on, you're not very nice. Like, your people aren't very nice. And she's like, well, Dora, you don't understand how exhaust, exhausting it is to be nice all of the time. Like, you just don't know. You know, people ask me the same questions over and over and over and over again. And I'm like, dude, that's why you're here, though. And she's like, well, 
If they would just learn to use the search option, then this wouldn't be an issue all of the time. And I was like, dude, they're not going to. If they're going to use a search, they're going to do that on Google. If they're coming to your group, it's because they want your support. You have a recipe group. So guess what? They want your opinion. They want to know, did you try it? Did you make it? Did you like it? Did it flop? Did you switch anything? Was it good? They're not going to go to the search. They're never. I was like, girl, give it up. They ain't never going to the search. And she was offended. She was like, well, you know, I think that they could just search for themselves. And I'm like, they're not going to. Why would they? Why would they come to your group for one-on-one -on -one support to search what they can look for on Google or on Pinterest or any number of places to search? So those were the main things that she said to me was she's too busy. She doesn't have time and she doesn't have patience. <laughs> and oh my God, you're going to love this one because I never told you this. This was my Dory answer. This is what I said to her. On the days when your nice runs out, just tag me because you really can't be out there not being nice to people. <laughs> and she was like, oh, great, Dory. You would be a fabulous resource. I was like, on the days when your positive runs out, girl, you just tag me and I'll swoop in there and I'll be nice. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. And, you know, the other thing is is that people need to realize um, with technology as it is these days and ever-changing and, I mean, just constant, 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 you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm almost 53, and, I mean, I was, I was kind of lucky, like, in my senior year of high school was when computers started to come around, and I started working, so I kind of learned as I went along in my field, so, you know, but a lot of people didn't have that. They may have been stay-at-home yeah. moms, and they're older, and they don't understand technology and how it works. Um, and so they need that help, too. It's not just, geez, why don't they use the search? Well, they probably they don't, know, don't how. know that it's available. Yeah. Um, so, you know, let's give a little guidance and help yeah. them along. Don't just be like, oh, oh what are you doing? Just search it. You yeah. know? I mean, that's it's horrible. Well, it's horrible. And these are the things we've changed in our group. Like right in our pinned post, the very first pin post is called step one, two, three. And it shows you how to search something in the group, how to find something in the group. And then the next step is how to figure out your macros, how to track your macros and where to go from there. Because that's the hard part. Like, and that's what we're out there selling all day long. Once you get the hard part over, which is just figuring out what am I eating? What are my portions? What are my percentages? Once you get that down, dude, the fun begins. Like, uh, it blows out from there. It, it gets easy. It gets fun. You know, you can have anything you want as soon as you stop thinking, I can't have. Yes, 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 yes. That's this. Yes, yes, yes. Take the ugly, take the negative, take the nose out of the picture. That's not what we're about. You know, we want to make your life a yes. Everybody struggles with it at times. Um, we all have our fall-offs. In my case, I exploded the hell up the way I when I lost it. Um, and that's okay. You're human, you know. Just, you know, we're here. Get back on track. We're here to support you. We're here to guide you. We're here to answer your questions. We're here to help you have fun, learn to love yourself and the food that you eat, um, and I mean, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that's us in a nutshell. Just yeah. happy, peaceful, loving, helping each other, good people, helping each other out. Yeah. And you know what? In in all honesty, I it's so fun. Like, we have so much fun in our group. And it is kind of the sillier side of, of keto because we are a ragtag bunch of oddballs. Like, I really, in lots of ways, I, I think of us as the island of misfit toys. But we just all, we all fit together. Like, me, the unicorn sparkle poop girl. Right? And the crazy cat lady. And the fun that we have. Like the life that is in our group. The humor. Like, man, we have fun. Like, there's videos of me going down the water slide like a crazy lady. Like, riding the swing. Like, we just do it. And we ask our people to share it too. Like, we want all the parts of the journey, not just the good parts, right? Like, we don't censor out the ugly parts in our group. Some groups, you get kicked out for saying the cheat word. Like, oh, I fell off plan. And, and in strict said group that we had talked about, at Christmas time, there was a post in that group that said, 
You guys know better. You all know better. If you fall off after Christmas, don't you dare come back to this group and post that you ate something off plan and think that you will be welcome here. Don't even dare it because you all know better. You're all planned. You all know better. Don't you dare. And I was like, what? I what? Don't remember that too. That is just horrible. And and I'll tell you what. That's what's going to get people to fail. You know, people yeah. are going to be they're like they're going to beat themselves up. We do that enough. We don't need help beating ourselves up. We're really experts at that. So oh. we don't need somebody else coming down and pounding on our head that we're oh. idiots or stupid or whatnot. You're not. You're no. not. You're human. Yes. <laughs> you're human. And, and it. it you're human. It prompted me to share my Christmas story because something happened to me over Christmas. And at Christmas time, I was like, oh, I've been keto for eight months now. I've been eating this way. It's all good. My girlfriend brought over her regular tin of cookies that she always does. And I thought, well, two or five cookies couldn't hurt me. Right? Like, I could do this. I've been healthy. I'm doing good. Like, I'm so good at this, girl. I got this. And I did. I ate the three or five. We won't specify. Maybe it was five um, cookies. You know, perhaps I did. Perhaps I didn't eat the cookies. And in the morning, I, I woke up. Not only did I feel like somebody hit me with their car, um, but for the first time in my 42 years of life, I had a unique problem. I couldn't poop. Like, nothing. Nothing was moving. Nothing. And I was like, oh, dude, I need to, but I can't. And all day long, I was like, oh, dude, oh, my God, I might die. Like, I've never not. I've never not pooed before. Like I'm, I'm panicking. And at that time, I messaged Shalini, who is now one of our amazing moderators. But at the time, she just was love one of my girl. keto wives. Mm, I love her. We're going to have to talk about our other mods, too. But I messaged her, and I was like, girl, I am dying. Like, I'm going to die right now. I don't even know what I was thinking. And she was like, girl, flax muffin. So I, I have to dory that, right? I made a peppermint chocolate chip flax muffin. <laughs> And then I thought to myself, what do I do? Like, what do I do at this point with this information? You know, here I am, you know, Miss High and Mighty Dory. I run a group. I'm supposed to be setting an example for everybody. And look at what I went out and did. Like, I ate the cookies and I couldn't poo. So I decided, you know what? I'm sucking it up. I'm owning it. I did that. I owned it. I got my house coat on because I was miserable. And I just made a video and I was like, so it's Christmas time. You know, maybe we ate some stuff we shouldn't and... Maybe we didn't. I'm not saying, you know, perhaps we did. Perhaps we didn't. And perhaps we can't poop now. Now, if that's your problem, not saying that's my problem. But if, but if that's your problem, yeah, I'd feel bad for you. But I'd make this muffin. <laughs> and, I, and it was delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like the best muffin ever. It's the best treat ever. And I will say, don't be afraid of flax because I usually eat it regularly and it doesn't have that effect. But when I needed it to, girl, it did. Like 15 minutes, yes. big old glass of water with some salt in it and stuff was moving again. And I would have loved to have hide that from our group. Like I would have loved to have been like, what? Me? Not me. I, I never, I, I would never eat a cookie. Why would you even oh. think I, that's just silliness. I wouldn't eat a cookie. But the truth is, it's the reality of it. And if it's me, it's not just friggin' me, right? Like, and that's what I'm going to say to you guys. If it's you, it's not just you. I promise, I promise, I promise. If it's a question you have, at least 10 other people are too afraid to ask it too. So be the one, be the one who asks the question and get the answer for everybody. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's so important. It really is. And uh, I'm going to reiterate over and over again, no question is stupid. No question is dumb. It's you and your question. You're important. You're beautiful. Ask that question. That's why we're here. That's why we want to be here. You guys are what keeps us coming back day after day after day because we've experienced those other groups yes. and that treatment and we don't want to be that we want to be where you feel comfortable sharing whatever it is you want to share um, however personal it may be we don't judge we're not here to do that there's only one person that can do that if you believe in god so that's the only one that can judge you 
you can't even judge yourself, and you shouldn't. And especially, no. don't judge your progress based on anybody else's no. either. That's another big thing that I see. Oh my God, this one has lost 10 pounds and I've lost like one and a half. That's their journey. Your journey is your own. Our bodies are all different and it's going to take some time, more time, sometimes for others to adjust and uh, find their group and get into that weight loss uh, mode. But don't be afraid to ask, hey, I'm stalling. What do I need to do? We'll tell you again. I don't care if it's been the hundredth time. We're going to tell you again. We're going to help you out. That's that's why we're here. We want to have some. Want to show you some love and support in your life. Yes. A lot of us uh, that's been lacking, and yeah. so we're trying to give you just a little piece of that back. Yeah. Well, so and the, and so I want to share with you guys. It's not steady. Like you're not going to tick off two pounds every week and there it's just it does not work that way your body doesn't work that way you might lose you know five pounds ten pounds week one and then not lose anything for a month but then all of a sudden you lose two or three pounds but then you gain back four and then you lose ten and it goes like like dude it goes like that like in a year my weight has only moved six times in a year so how many stalls is that like the first four months, nothing, and then I lost 10 pounds, and then another month of nothing, and I lost five pounds, and then another month of nothing, and, you know, another yeah. five pounds, so it, some people will lose, and they'll lose consecutively, and they'll lose consistently, but that's not always you, and you know what, if you have issues like thyroid, uh, POS, if you're taking medications, some of these things you're winning just not by gaining, like, you're on medication for menopause. I, 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 Dory, I'm not losing, but did you gain 20 pounds this month? You realize people can go on that medication and they can gain like 20, 30, 40, 60 pounds in a month, two months, three months. Right? So if you're on it and you're not losing, but you're not gaining, girl, you are already winning. Like, you're winning. You're winning all day long. And and that's we stress that in our group. Like the little victories. You don't have to wait till you've lost 5 pounds to celebrate. You know what? The first time that your butt fits in a seat that it didn't, I want a big whoop whoop celebration, girl. I I want to know dancing about that. Like, you know, the first time you bent over to put on your own socks and it didn't hurt. That is a victory. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. I mean, that first full night's sleep that you haven't had in ages. Oh, my God, oh my yes. God. Oh, that is the best feeling. I, I mean, the first time it happened for me, I went to sleep, and I usually would wake up around, uh, you know, midnight or so and make my little bathroom trip and whatnot. And from that point on, it was up and down, up and down, a roll and toss and turn in the rest of the night, waking up exhausted. And the first time that I went to bed, closed my eyes, and I didn't wake up until the alarm went off, shocked the daylights out of me, right? scared the crap out of me, what? I jumped out of my bed like, what is going on? And I was like, oh my God, I slept all night. Oh, that is a win. That is a win. You know what? The first day for me, my first favorite win, and it was only a few days in too. Like it doesn't take forever. Within week one, week two was the day that I realized, oh my God, I don't, I don't hurt. I don't hurt all day. I'm not aching. My body doesn't hurt. I'm not sore. I don't have a headache. And then that moment when you try to remember the last time that you did hurt and you realize it's been like three or four days and you just didn't notice yet. And I was like, what? Girl, I have been pain free for like three days. Celebration. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And how about, I mean, even, you know, when you're on the scale and it isn't changing, there are other changes. You will see changes in your body. Um, you'll see things like uh, a few weeks ago, I posted some pictures that I cleaned out my closet of all my shoes and I got rid of a ton of them and I had a bunch of shoes. There's probably like seven pair of shoes that I had bought about a year ago and they were what was supposed to be my right size, but I couldn't fit them. And now, all of a sudden, I got seven brand new pairs of shoes, baby. <laughs> whoop, whoop. I've I mean, gone down three so shoe sizes. 
three. I've gone from a size 10 to now this year I'm a size seven. That weirds me out. Like I knew I'd lose weight in a lot of ways, but dude, that weirds me out. And one day in our group, cause our group is, is private content. One day we're going to do a, a live about the weird side of weight loss. Cause there is some weird Dude, there is weird stuff. Like, we need to have a boob talk one day. Like, there is a lot of weird stuff. Like, there and and things that you don't know, right? Like, things I wish somebody would have told me. Like, and, and duh, I lost 145 pounds. I thought my body wouldn't change. Of course I knew it would change. But I didn't know. Like, I didn't know in advance. Like, nobody warned me that I was going to go through these odd periods. Like, where I looked so weird, dude. Like, where parts of my body looked weird, where my face looked weird, when I was losing weight in this spot or that spot, that I felt awkward and uncomfortable, and nobody told me it was going to be weird. Right. Like, I right. thought it would all, you know what I mean? Like, click, 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 just a little layers, 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 and everything would come off even, and it would be all normal-like, and it's not. <laughs> like, nope, it's not. It I is mean, not. There are... Physical changes, there are emotional changes, there are function changes, there are so many things that you don't realize are going to happen. Like you said, you're just like, oh, well, I'll get the weight off and I'll jump into my bikini and be off to the beach. And it's right. just... <laughs> I don't have my like bikini that. body. I'm just putting that out there. I do not have a bikini no, no, no. body. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this. When I was in high school, uh, my high school boyfriend used to bug me to wear a bikini all the time. And I would say this to him. Do boys think bikinis are magical? You've seen me in my bra and panties, dude. A bikini is not going to look better. Like, there is no magical fabric inside that bikini that's going to make this junk look any prettier. I'm just putting that out there. And I looked him right in the eye and I'm like, dude, you have seen me in my bra and panties. And he's like, yeah, never mind. You don't need a bikini. A one piece is fine. <laughs> and I was like, you're right. You are right. I do not need a bikini. You are correct, sir. You are correct. And, and you know what? I don't think that a bikini body will ever be one of my goals. You know, I'd like to have, you know, I, I'm okay. I don't really need to lose any more weight. I'd like to be a little nicer shape. I'd like to tone up. But the honest to God truth, if I didn't lose one more ounce from now until the rest of my life, I'm happy. I am happy. I am happy with my body. I'm happy with my weight. I'm, I've never been happy. Like, never with my body. Never with my size. Never with right. my weight and there's still junk I hate about my body I won't pretend like I, I have weird spots I've got jiggly bits yeah I've got dangly skin parts here and there people always want to know that too right they're like oh Dory you've lost 145 pounds please tell me you don't have any dangly skin anywhere girl I'd love to but that'd be lie <laughs> I'd be lying right to your face right like I got it I got it look at it it's really pretty right but it's going away yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it right because it's the wave that keeps on waving <laughs> this this I'm gonna hit hard in the 20 market with this uh, my, my son's gonna love this when his friends get the get the uh, the notification that I'm live oh they're gonna love that one I, I'm gonna be wildly popular <laughs> wildly wildly popular but it's true right like it's true it is what we really are it is truth and you know what i i'm not a barbie doll like we're paused from up there we go we're back you know and none of us is perfect we all have those pieces and those parts and i'm going to tell you that right now my scale says i'm up like i got on that girl and she said i'd gained four pounds and I'm going to grab a stool because I want you to see what I've gained four pounds look like because you're going to laugh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, seriously, get ready because I'm going to say this. So either my scale moves or my body changes. It is not both. It is not both. If my scale is moving, I'm the same shape. My clothes are the same size. Nothing's changing. Nothing's adjusting. But when I hopped on my scale and my scale said to me, Dory, you've gained four pounds. And I was like, I don't even like you. I don't even know why I look at you. You're stupid. Um, but what I have noticed is look at all this brand new waistline that I have. And look, my tummy is almost gone. And this is all brand new. But my scale says I've gained 
four pounds. Now, I went down and I bought the next pant size down. I bought a size seven last week, seven, from my nines. And yet my scale says I've gained four pounds. Like, what? I don't care. So I've decided I don't care what the scale says. <laughs> I've decided this. Adopt this one because this is my favorite. So I've decided whatever my lower number is, that's what I am. So my scale says I gained four. I'm still 145 pounds. You don't get to tell me. You don't get to tell me my number. I know my number, girl. I'm 145. You don't get to tell me I'm 149 because I don't listen to you. Girl, you ain't the boss of me. You don't know me. I do what I want. And I've decided I, I'm 145 pounds. And I don't care. Because you know what? Next week, the scale is going to take back that four pounds. And she's going to be like, oh, sorry, girl. Totally didn't mean that. You are 145. So I'm not going to spend a week of beating myself up for being 149 when we both know I'm 145, girl. We both know it. have a this or a that I get the instant reminder that Dory that's not for you there's a reason why you don't eat that now and and I'm gonna say this I ate so much sugar I ate so much carbs I did not know that was the problem I was eating them every single day so I felt gross every day and guess what I thought sick miserable in pain irritable bowel syndrome depression I thought all of that was normal that was just every day, dude. That was my life. Welcome to it. Want to join in? It's a lot of fun around here. Like, you want to you come exactly. hang out? Like, exactly. around here, we're miserable. Like, we're miserable. We're sore. We're tired. We're, you know, I was hungry all of the time. I was, I just wasn't happy. And, and the change for me was huge. And I didn't even know what feeling good felt like. And you don't. Exactly. Like, if you haven't tried it, you don't even know what it feels like yet. Like, you don't know what it feels like to lay your head down on the pillow at night and just close your eyes and go to sleep. Because that was my hard part. I would go to bed and I would lay and I would toss and I would turn and I would worry and I would stress. Bedtime was my stress time. As soon as I lay down, my brain would, and for hours, like, and then I'd wake up feeling like I hadn't slept. You know, I'd sleep eight and a half, nine hours and you wake up feeling yeah. like you haven't even slept. And now I lay down. I close my eyes and guess what? My brain shuts off and I go to sleep. Now I won't lie. It wakes me up at stupid o'clock in the morning. Like it's the weekend, dude. I was up at 6 a.m. And I'm like, what? No, 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 no. We still sleep. And my brain's like, keto, keto, keto. We have things to keto this morning, Dory. And I'm like, no, dude, it's like 6 a.m. We need to sleep still. Nope. Nope. I got out of bed. Cause there's no point. Like, I've realized once I'm awake, that's it. But I can sleep, yes. dude. Like, I sleep. I actually sleep. Like, a real, full, honest to goodness, I wake up rested sleep. And I don't press snooze five times. I don't need three cups of coffee to get functional. As soon as I wake up, my brain is on. Like, 
When you see that energy and excitement, that starts popping first thing in the morning, dude. Like, yes. I wake up and I'm like, coffee! Let's do it! Who wants coffee? <laughs> and my guy is like, really? Could you, could you not? Actually, though, do, do you have to? And I was like, coffee? No? And he's like, yeah, I want coffee. But I want you to quit doing that, too. Coffee? Oh, all the joys that are living with me, right? Like, when you guys see how crazy I am, it's like that at my house. My guy's like, oh, Tori. He just, he just Tori both. is a Tasmanian <laughs> devil with a unicorn suit. <laughs> I, I, there really is the fury that I go through the world with. And it's funny, because even when I go out in public in my small town, I'll go to the store and they're like, hey, girl, what's up? And I'm like, hey, baby, you like the new hair? Oh, you know you do, girl. <laughs> and it's so fun. So fun. Oh, my goodness. I had, I had my very first, I, I laughed out loud encounter. So I, I went to a place that I regularly go in town. There. They're like an employment center. You can go in and get information and do all kinds of stuff. But I love the lady who works the front desk there. And the other day when I walked in, instead of my normal, I'm like, oh, Dory greeting. I came in and she's like, it's colorful keto with Dory. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, say it again. Say it again like it's my real name. <laughs> Jeez. And I was like, what? You know it. You know, girl, I love you, girl. She's like, oh my God, it's colorful keto with Dory. I love it. I'm so glad to see you, girl. And I'm like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Gotta have that energy. Oh. Out there and be happy and enjoy your life. I have this one patient that um, will come in, and every time he comes in, I I go ta da, ta da, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> to raise the spirits, right? Like. Honestly, and, and my mother always told me, if someone doesn't have a smile, girl, you give them yours. You know, that's how you that's change it. the world. That's how you touch people. You know, you smile at strangers. You tell somebody they've got a nice dress. Oh, girl, I love your hair today. Because we don't get enough compliments. Like, not anywhere. Not right. in our everyday lives. Not from our friends. Not from our family. So, you know what? Give them to strangers. Give them to strangers. And they'll give them back. They will. <laughs> if you tell somebody their hair looks nice today, they're going to compliment somebody later the afternoon and it's going to make their day. So I say hand out compliments like they're candy. Hand out love like you're giving it to everybody. Because you know what? If you don't lose it, right? Like you don't end up with less love in your basket to hand out to your friends and family because, you know, you gave a little to a stranger. Oh, sorry, dude. I don't love you that much. I talked to three strangers today. <laughs> And I mean, I genuinely Talk. will go, and if I see something, I'll, uh, you know, uh, somebody's wearing or something, I'll be like, oh, oh that's my, my gosh, favorite. It's beautiful. And I have no problem. And the look on their face, they're like shocked but happy at the same time. Like, oh my gosh, like, I don't even know you, and you just said something nice to me. And that's the best feeling in the world because then you know you added a little more light to their day. And, and they're going to add a little more light somewhere else. And that's what we should be doing, and not this, you can't have it. No, 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 you're bad. Yes. That's so it. we are at our minute, our two minute warning. I love that Instagram has a two minute warning because you know, I, I babble, but I, I want to, I want to tell them where to find us. I want them to tell, tell them where to find us. So I'm going to give you the first minute and then I'll take 30 seconds to give them my links, but I want you to tell them where to find you. Okay. I'm here on Instagram at crazy or oh, sorry at uh, keto crazy cat lady i am on facebook uh cat keto i am also on dory's group my colorful keto buddy dory mm -hmm. and put that you in the colorful yes that's, that's the way it's spelled the that's the canadian spelling i'm just putting it out there there was a great debate at my house with or without the U. And my guy was like, you know, you are Canadian. You should probably spell it the Canadian way. You know it's proper. And I was like, yeah, it looks better anyways too. So if you're confused, it's colorful with the U. 
And that's where we are, guys. For me, you can find me here on Instagram, um, on my public Facebook page, Colorful Keto with Dory, and on YouTube, because I'm a new YouTuber. So you guys can find my videos on YouTube. And Kat, she started her YouTube. We're going to get more and more out there. And I want to tell you guys, every Saturday on our group, Kat does a live video recipe. Okay, so we cut off on that one. We're going to share that. I shall flip you guys around so that I could say goodbye to you, darlings. And yes, again, just mentioned that every Saturday, Kat does a live to our group. And you guys are allowed to make recipe requests for that. So if there's something that you're dying to try and you want Kat to ketofy it for you, then get a hold of her in advance of her Saturday live and she'll do stuff for you because she's awesome like that. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, guys. Have a great day.